Hello, I'm going to show how to use Digicam Control from digicamcontrol.com. That's a free downloadable software for controlling your camera, and but it only works with Windows 10. Uh, here I have a computer with Windows 10, and this is what the icon looks like. It's like an aperture or an iris. And uh, I'm going to open this up. Now prior to this, I have turned on the camera. Now you can turn the camera on before or after, but I prefer to turn it on before I start the program. This is version 2.1.1.0. Takes a little bit of time to load, but You'll see this too for version 2. Okay, so this is the main screen. Uh, there's a little bit of a nag screen, but you can dismiss that. Uh, software is very good, so it would be good to uh, support it. Now, this is the basic screen. When you take a picture, it'll show up right here. Uh, when you take um, a series of pictures that will be shown down here. I'll just go to one here. And to get it to fit, you go choose this item. It's just catching up, so I hit that fit. Alright, so this, this is a selfie, so it's not at the full mag, and also it was taken um, Let's see, it shows what camera it was taken with, and it shows what camera is hooked up right now. So it automatically detected, it says D3500 right there, and um, these are all the settings that are on there right now. So the first thing to do when you start this program is you want to change the session name to match the client name. So I hit this gear icon, and I change the session name, oh, let's say to my name. So I just type that in. Now this is good to do because then it will you can use this on every file that it saves to the computer. But you have to do one other thing. You need to uh, go over here to the file name template. And what I'm going to do is just change it. <coughs> I'll just type in the word iris instead of DSC, which stands for Digital Still Camera. And then I first put in the session name. Now notice how it inserts a um, preceding underscore. The other information I want is I want the whole date, like so, and I want the whole time. Likewise, I don't uh, need the seconds. And that'll help me track it, and then there's a counter there. So after that, I'll say OK. Now, uh, not only will it use this in each file name, but it will actually create a folder with that name, which is handy. So now I have set up the session. It should be updating. <clears throat> Here's the name right here. And um, basically, now I can take a picture. Now I will put this on auto focus. <clears throat> and all you have to do, turn on the focusing light. Get nice and close. Open the lids. Check the illuminator and the lateral lighting. And then I just took the picture and it will show up right here. So that's the one I just took. And now if it's good enough to go, if you don't need to map out the sclera or take too many extra pictures, although I usually do, but then you can just go over to the other guy. So in that case, I'm pointing it here. I'm going to change it to lateral side lighting. Okay. <clears throat> And there is, the next die will be showing up pretty soon. There it is. This one is the left iris. Now, uh, there's a 
just to show what's going on uh, with the folders, we can look at, oh, let me just minimize, there it is. Um, it goes into pictures, and then under pictures, there's Digicam control, and then there's the file name it created. And then you'll see how these uh, files each have the person's name and the date and the time, as well as the sequence number, so you can easily sort them. And that's where you can find them. And what can be done next is uh, open them up in a, any viewer, like Windows Photo Viewer, for example. And uh, let's sort these out in detail mode. All right, so now let's sort it on date. And here is uh, what I can do is I right click it. I'll say open with. And then I say Windows Photo Viewer, although this one has just photos, that's good enough. And actually, okay, so that was uh, number 10 there. And number 9, I can also open up the same way open with photos. Now once I've done that, what I can do is there's a lot of ways of doing this. You could also copy and paste and put them up as a two up, but this is just a simple way that's available without any extra software because it just uses the built-in system. And then you can just go on and do your consultation. It's that simple. Now, this is done, so I will uh, make another one.